You know, ladies and gentlemen, it is a beautiful day out here. I would like to begin this video with uh, with a little story. This is a true story. And if you really care about extreme food fishing, right? Please give me three or four minutes of your lifetime because today is a very important and happy day in my life. This is a very important day for Leo Shang, for extreme food fishing, and even for my um, social media, my YouTube career, right? So uh, old and new subscribers should know about this already, but I started my career here back in 2015, right? Those were the days that I still tutor mathematics and physics, and I was going from house to house, tutoring kids, right? And I uh, kind of decided to make a transition, drop that, and become a full-time YouTuber. It's been six years since that, right? I've been shooting YouTube videos left and right. I've done the multi-species, the life listing, the lure reviews. And particularly when it comes to the lure reviews, you guys should know this, I've tried all kinds of different lures over the years here on the YouTube channel, right? You guys can see the selection here in the video. In particular, the tiny ones, right? Now let me tell you all something. Over the years, if there is one particular type of lure that I have been very frustrated with, even back then and even now, that would be the paddle tail, okay? Now, don't misunderstand, I have used bigger versions of the paddle tail out there, different brands, caught many species of fish on them, and they work absolutely fine. But when it comes to the smaller paddle tails, especially the ones in the range of one to three inches, I don't really want to cite the name of the companies here because I don't want to tarnish anyone's reputations, okay? But I, go, I went out there, I bought those, man, and they just don't work! Or for the majority of the times, right, some of them just don't work. You cast it out there and you're expecting that tail to go, boop, 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 you know, and it does nothing. Some other ones, they work only under a certain set of circumstances, right? Like when you have current. So a few months ago, the owner of Euro Tackle, Ben, he kind of called me over the phone, you know, and he was like, well, hermano, maybe we should get together and try to design a new drug for the market, a new lure for the market, and put your name on it. Extreme Philly Fishing. Bro, when I heard that over the phone, you know, man, I looked my phone straight in the eyes, bro. I was like, hell yeah. So we got together and we started sketching and designing. Well, I kind of say we, but Ben really did the majority of the work, right? As he is the one who is more proficient when it comes to sketching, designing, and marketing these lures on the market. So shout out to the owner of Aero Tackle. We kind of sat together for months and months and months, right? Uh, throughout the whole coronavirus thing. And finally, today, okay? Or for you guys, on April 9th, we're finally releasing the EPF is Swim. All right, let me show you guys here. I am very proud. This is my first soft plastic, okay? My first line of products within the Euro Tackle brand, okay? It is a one inch, one of the smallest paddle tails that you are going to find in the market. And the thing is, I guarantee you, if you hook this thing right on the jig, straight, boy, that action on the tail right there is going to be phenomenal, you know what I'm saying? Oh boy, you are going to see that action in the water, your body is going to start tingling, you may even get a row. <clears throat> but anyways, right? So this lure is coming out of the market April 9, 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time as this video gets released. And you know, this is a major step when it comes to my YouTube career, right? So if you want to get some of these, you can go to www.aerotackle.com, okay? I highly encourage it. If you buy some of these, please keep in mind, you will be helping not only one small business, which is Aerotackle, you are actually going to be helping two small businesses, right? As I actually make commission out of these lures, right? So you're going to be pretty much supporting Aero Tackle, my sponsor, and Extreme Filler Fishing, right? And finally, before we get to the fishing portion of this video, where I'm going to show you that this lure indeed is lace, 
the different species around the area, if you decided to get a few packs, please send me a few photos, okay, of just you and the lures, or if you catch some fish around your area, right, doesn't matter where you are around the world or the country, send me some photos of the different species that you are catching on the EPF Swim so that I can actually share on social media and give you a proper shout out, kind of show some love back to all my brothers, my sisters, my followers, my subscribers out there, okay? I could go on and on in this video, like I said, I am extremely happy to finally announce this and know that it is out in the market, right? But, you know, the Guggen Squad, the Guggen Squad has got the whole products out there. Hey, Skipper has got their salted baits. Even my friend, the Fish Hawk, right, has been making his own inline spinner. So finally, EPF is in the game, boy. All right, rest of this video, I'm just going to hit my local canal. And uh, I am a firm believer that actions speak louder than words. We are six minutes in this video already. Thank you very much for sticking with Extreme Full of Fishing over here. Let's go slay some fish, man. And let me show you what the EPF swim is all about. Let me give you guys a view here of how this thing swims in the water. If you just hook it right, you see that? You see how it swims in the water? No current over here whatsoever, okay? If you decide to jig it up and down, the tail wiggles when you jig. So that is what the EPF swim is all about. One of the smallest ones in the market with a tail action that is surely a killer. All right, you can do anything you want with this. You can do a steady retrieve, you can do some suspended jigging, you can just jig on the bottom. Good for crappie, good for multi-species, good for perch. All right, let's get started and let's lay some fish here. All right, let's get started with some suspended jigging. You know, it is about crappy season around my area. So you do a little bit of a suspended jigging, right? Around pieces of wood or pieces of structure. Oh my goodness, dude. Instant hit, bro. On the EPF swim. I'm not even making this up, bro. It is not a crappy though, I don't think. Our first fish of the day is uh, always a little large mouth bass. <laughs> hey, tell you what, multi-species killer. As I told you guys, right? Dink. But look at that, huh? Mm, first cast up at the mouth. Can't make this up. You know, like, you can't even make this up, right? That footage was like uncut footage. You guys saw it. I just cast it out there, man. Less than two seconds in the water, dude. EPF swim just went haywire. <laughs> the flow just went down, bro. All right, little bass is gone. Messed up all my camera here. That's all good. First fish of the day. Oh, that was a hit. Mm. We got some activity on the right side here, I saw. Is that right? Do we really have some activity over here? Kind of saw something jump back there. Oh, yeah, look at that. Look at that. Something kind of splashed over there, kind of caught my eye, you know? I guess we'll find out soon enough. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Ooh, fish on, boy. Fish on, boy. Is it a crappie? Mm, okay, this is turning out to be a very odd day. Uh, we already know that the bears have no problem eating the EPF swim, okay? So you go back there, and please, tell, tell your cousins, we, we, we already got you, okay? We already got you today. All right, from this angle right here, let's give it a cast all the way to the back. Okay, this is very dangerous, man. My line is right next to a sunken log. Oh, that was a hit. Oh, that's fish on. Is that a crappie? That was right next to the log too. Oh no, that's just a regular bluegill. I mean, that's to show you guys, right, that the bluegill, even the bluegill, it's like no cho no chance, you know what I'm saying, man? EPF is swim, bro. <sighs> bluegill candy, son. I mean, you know, a lure designed by Extreme Full of Fishing. Of course the bluegill, you know, have to bite. Look at that, man, choked. I mean, didn't really choke, but inhaled that thing. Let me just take a photo of this guy quickly here. And we're going to release it. Second species of the day, Lepomis macroquerus. 
<laughs> okay, okay. Second species of the day. All right, let me release it right over here. Beautiful sample too, nice size. Back it goes to its freedom. All the way back there. All the way back there. That huge piece of log, man. You're telling me there's not a single crappie around there? Ooh, fish oil. Fish oil, boy. Ooh, that float went down, man. Oh, it's running to the side. It's running to the side, folks. Dude, it's a big bluegill. Holy macaroni, bro. EPF is swim bluegill killer, bro. Want some pinfish? Look, look, this, this, this is what I call pinfish, bro. Hell yeah. Ooh, are you a big fan of eating pinfish? Because I'm telling you, what I got in the live well right now is two nice bluegill fillets, you know? If I wanted to eat fish today, if I wanted to eat some bluegill, whoo, my man. This is the size, man. Look at this. This is good eating size bluegill right over here. You got the EPF is whim right there. Boom. That is what's up, man. Can't make this up. Panfish killer. You like pan fishing? Look at that. Wow. Very nice size bluegill going back right to the trunk all the way back. Hmm. Fish on. Is that a crappie? Wow, I'm clearly showing you guys here that the EPF swim is very good for suspended jigging. Oh, it's a bass. Okay. That crappie is definitely not showing up. So anyways, right, suspended jigging definitely working really good for the EPF swim. Same lure that we have used to catch five fish in this video so far. I think I am indeed going to be adventurous and I'm going to start walking. I'm going to take this float out and I'm going to start casting towards the canal and I'm going to show you guys, you know, that suspended jigging is not the only technique that you can use for this wonderful soft plastic. All right, cast to the middle of the canal. Let it sink all the way down, steady retrieve like an inline spinner. And if you don't want to do that, a steady retrieve like an inline spinner, you can also just cast very close by. Let it sink all the way down and then just jig it. Just like you would jig any other soft plastic. Very, very versatile lure, huh? All right, now let's walk around and find some fish here in the canal. All right, this spot kind of looks juicy. We got water from the canal flowing from this side to that side, right? And then we got a swift current over here with some current breaks along the way. I think if I cast the EPF swim around here, we should be able to land something. I mean, we'll see. Hey, you know what I'm saying, man? It's like uh, you just have to cover a lot of water and you just never know, right? Cast your stuff out there. Maybe we're gonna get one. Maybe there's some fish around here, maybe not. I don't know, we'll find out. Oh, dude, fish on. What is it? Oh my goodness, I think it is a trout, dude. I think it is a trout. Holy moly, it is a trout. <laughs> what? Let me land it. Let me land it. Let me land it first. Let me land it. All right. Dude, it's a rainbow trout, man. Oh my goodness. Guys, I have been fishing the DNR canal for years. Years. This is the first time that I've landed a stock trout from the DNR canal. <laughs> not even making this up. Oh boy, all these years I've been fishing this canal. This is the first time that I've landed a rainbow trout from the DNR canal. Can you believe that? 
all these years, huh? All right, beautiful little rainbow trout over here. I'm going to release it right around here. I actually got my boots with me, so I can just, oh, oh easy, easy. I can just put that back right over there. So in New Jersey, the trout stock season doesn't really start, I believe, until the 9th of this month. I'm not sure. But rules and regulations in New Jersey say that you can start fishing for them on the 1st already. You can't take the fish. You have to catch and release, right? So I wasn't exactly targeting trout over here, you know. I'm still trying to catch a chain pickerel just to, <laughs> just to kind of show you that the EPF is whim, can catch a pickerel. And then that trout came up, man. We may just have a hit jackpot today with a school of trout. I don't know. Let's keep fishing over here and uh, see what happens. Was right around that area too. Oh. Yeah, no, I think it's a fish, man. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. It's on it. Oh hell yeah, another rainbow. <laughs> you can't make this stuff up, man. <laughs> oh yeah. Ha <laughs> ha, got it. <laughs> yeah, a little rainbow trout. Yeah. All right, EP series top of the mouth. You guys see that? Oh, easy, 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 fellow, easy. Let me just unhook real quick here. Boom. All right, put it back where it belongs. Go back, my brother. Oh, yeah. Beautiful, beautiful. New Jersey rainbow trout. Oh yes, third one of the day, man. Holy moly, you can't make this up. Let me show you guys the fish a little bit. I'm gonna go down there to land it, but tiny one. But I would like to emphasize, this is all on the EPF swim. And not only that, these are my first New Jersey trout of 2021, you know? I wasn't really expecting to target them today at all. And then they just kind of showed up. Look at that. I mean, these are beautiful fish. Beautiful fish too. I'm gonna wet my hands here real quick, but just showing you guys right over here, right? Man, it's got a nice hue of pink, okay? Very aggressive, you guys can see, right? On the EPF swim. Wow, man, so beautiful. Wow, this is the first year ever that I've come here to the DNR canal and I'm actually landing the stock trout here. That's crazy. My man, ladies and gentlemen, you really can't make this up. Year after year, I've been shooting YouTube videos here at this portion of the Delaware and Raritan Canal, right? And I've always seen the sign over there that says, you know, uh, stocked trout waters, right? But year after year, I kid you not, I, I've been coming here with inline spinners and casting all around, never caught even one. Only chain pickerel, the Azox Niger, and the largemouth bass, right, the Micropterus salmoides. Then this year, suddenly, I'm just like, you know what, man, I'm gonna go down to test the EPF swim, right? So I'm down here just like, you know, I'm gonna catch whatever bites, not even thinking about the trout. Boom! I'm close to landing my New Jersey limit, theoretically speaking, right, because I haven't kept any right all of them release and you can only keep them after the ninth of this month but it's still you know i mean this is just fascinating isn't it anyways i've run out of time for today's video this is it for today i just wanted to show you guys you know that this is a wonderful soft plastic for you to have inside your tackle box okay with an amazing action on the tail right it works for multi-species it works for pan fishing i mean this trout I got nothing against it, man. It's good advertising, you know what I'm saying, man? You guys seeing it, it works not just for the bass, not just for the panfish, but also for the trout, you know? And if you are not convinced yet to get some of these and help your boy extreme fully fishing here and aero tackle, right? Don't worry, okay? This is just the first video 
out of many, you know, I mean, this product just came out in the market, right? Uh, ben and I, we designed this and obviously, you know, I'm going to be using this throughout, I mean, <laughs> I'll be using it pretty frequently, you know, you guys will see, to catch all different species of fish all around the country and potentially even internationally after I get my citizenship and my American passport, right? So stay tuned for that, okay? Thank you very much for watching today's video. And again, if you decided to get a few of these packs at www.eurotackle.net, EPF truly appreciate it, okay? You are supporting not only Eurotackle, but Extreme Full Efficient as well, just to emphasize. And don't forget, man, send me some photos, you know, via email or on Instagram, right? Especially if you catch some fish on the EPF swim, I'll make sure to give you a proper shout out in the future, okay? That's what's up, man. All right, I'll see you all next time, tie lines, and take it easy. Oh, fish on. Goodness gracious, another trout. Came all the way for the EP F swim. Can you believe that? This is a real, real weird day out here at the canal, folks. Wanted to catch some crappie, caught some baby largemouth bass. And then I wanted to catch a chain pickerel. Look at that. We're catching New Jersey stock, the rainbow trout. I'm gonna look at that. EP swim, EPF swim, look, all the way top of the mouth. I don't know, man. I got about 15, 20 more minutes left of fishing out here. <laughs> I am very puzzled at the moment.